welcome friends. Today I want to talk about burnout just a bit. When we talk about burnout in the game, we're we're talking about a lot of different stuff. It's not just hey, I you know don't feel like playing the game anymore. It can come after you just lost a grand arena just really badly, or just like a week of straight where you're going against people that are so much higher than you in grand arena. Uh, it can come, you know, when you're just farming characters and you feel like you're still so far away from the next galactic legend. There's a lot of different ways that you can get burnt out on this game. And so I don't want to just say that there is an end-all, be-all, uh, like, hey, this is what you do for burnout. Uh, so I came up with kind of five things that have helped me over the last, uh, you know, while. Um, three years at this point of playing this game. Uh, and the first one we're, we're going to talk about is kind of one that everyone talks about. That would be peepees. Passion projects. So, right here, I, I want to talk just briefly about Passion Project. There's three different types of peepees, uh, and every single one of them is good, and consider one of the three. Uh, so, the first one is taking a character that you love, or taking characters that you love, even if they're not necessarily good for the teams, um, because eventually, you know, no matter what, whatever you farm is going to be good for your roster eventually. Uh, I could get Stormtrooper Han up to Relic, and yeah, I may not have a place for him right now, but, like, give me, I don't know, like, six months, and I'll have Sana Staros, and then I'll have a perfect place for him. Uh, there will always be a place for whatever peepees that you have, so don't be afraid to take a break from whatever you're doing, whatever Galactic Legends you're farming, anything like that, to go after just a personal something that helps you stay okay in the game. Uh, like this, you know, five Han Solo team. I think this is the funniest team in the world. Um, but, like, you know, something I, I say I love Han Solo. Like, my brother's obsessed with Han Solo. This would be the team that I would suggest he farm up just for fun to, you know, get him out of his uh, slump. Uh, or maybe you just like really like Galactic Republic Jedi or some Jedi in general. You can put together all kinds of Jedi teams uh, just off of just random Jedi that you have and just have some fun with it and get some characters that you love. Um, I had a buddy who got back in the game just because Kyle Katarn came to the game and he uses it with his JML and loves it. And it's like, yeah, that's great, buddy. I love that. Uh, and so just farming characters that you love in Star Wars can help a ton. Uh, like, who cares if Lord Vader sucks? Go for Lord Vader. Um, like, he doesn't actually suck. It's just people think comparatively he does. He's still going to be a great addition to your roster, and he has a lot of fun requirements leading up to him. Like, it's one that's, when I hit a slump, I'm going for Lord Vader, because uh, the, the requirements for Lord Vader are so many of my favorite characters. <clears throat> But then there's another type of PP, and this is the PP I find myself doing most, uh, and you'll notice it as you go through my roster, and that's teams that make you smile. And it's just a team that the synergy is just so dumb that you watch it happen and you can't help but smile, and it just makes you happy. So watching uh, Jawas versus Geonosians is the funniest thing in the world to me. You just watch everything kill itself, and I love that. Another one being Qui-Gon Jinn and Anakin. You're just kind of sitting there, and you're like, oh no, they're hitting my guys, and they kill Qui-Gon, you're like, boop, and everyone's dead. And I love that so much, and it gives me so much joy. It's less about being, like, a really solid team, and more about just bringing me joy, because no matter what I kill with this team, I'm just sitting there with a huge smile on my face and that brings us to our third type of pp uh which is both um these are my three i want to show you guys that have been my three pps have they been the best thing for my roster to just go full in on no but it doesn't matter because they brought me joy in this game and so i continued to push for them uh, so my first farm in this game were the Revens. Like, that was my first major farm. I hit 85, I got the Revens, and then I was like, dang, I don't know how this game works. I don't know what to do now. And that's when I found Arnold, and I started watching his videos, and I started pushing towards major farms. But this was my first passion project, uh, was just Darth Revan. And I have loved this team from front to back, and it's not only amazingly viable and puts a smile on my face whenever I use it, because just watching people lose turns and them not being able to do anything i love that so much but then on top of that it's characters that i love 
I it's the perfect passion project for me. So these are the ones that you should truly be looking for. The ones that make you smile are always great. The ones that are like your favorite characters are always great. But the ones that coincide into this perfect storm are the ones that will help you the most. <clears throat> then you have gas. Of course, I love the clones. I've always loved Anakin as a character. This was such a fun farm to do. Uh, I loved this farm. Uh, was it completely out of my way from my... Uh, I was went for SLKR, and then I had the stuff to start working towards Sith Eternal. Instead, I went straight for Ghast. Was it completely out of the way? Yes. Did I care? No. Because it made me happy, especially coming right off of a Galactic Legend, because Galactic Legends can be very draining. And then this last one is my current one. I mean, I, I finished Ray and I took a break from Galactic Legends. I took a break from all kinds of stuff. And I got Maul and I was like, oh, I love the Mandalorians in general. Candorous Ordo is one of my favorite characters in KOTOR. Jango Fett was one of my favorite characters growing up. Uh, Maul is, uh, you know, grew on me throughout the Clone Wars and Rebels to the point where he's one of my favorite characters in canon now. Uh, didn't enjoy him when he first came back, I'll be honest. As, as a kid, I was like, oh, they brought back a character? Fine. Um, I was a very critical kid. But love him now, and so, and then watching this team just go at teams just makes me smile every time with the Gar Saxon Imperial Super Commando rework. It's just so fun to watch. I love it so much. And so, finding a passion project like this will definitely increase your joy in this game. Uh, and like watching it slowly build up, you get more and more excited the longer that you're working at it because you're like, oh my gosh, this is so cool already at gear 12. Can't wait to see what it looks like when it's fully leveled. Like finding a passion project like project like this will help you so much. Uh, I, I do want to shift away from passion projects, shift away from the PP a little bit. Um, and talk a little bit about those other things besides, you know, oh, I've been farming GL after GL after GL. I need something different. That's kind of where peepees end up being. Um, but they're kind of like a motivational video that you'd watch on YouTube where you're like, oh, I just need to work out, but I don't feel like working out. I'm going to go watch a motivational video on YouTube. It fixes your current slump, but it doesn't necessarily, like fix everything um you know tomorrow you're still going to be struggling to go work out again and so i want to talk about a couple of those other scenarios like you know you're struggling in gak or you know you're farming a whole bunch of characters for your guild and that kind of stuff so here's the other four things that i i think really help people um and the fourth one i think uh or rather the fifth of this entire list is the most important by far uh, so the second one is if you're getting just destroyed in Grand Arena, consider dropping a league. Uh, I know it's kind of annoying to do, um, but you can still have fun with your Grand Arenas and it allows you to test things as well. Um, so instead of focusing on like, you know, winning every Grand Arena, instead you just focus on testing things out, trying different team comps and just having fun with your uh, teams. Um, and as you do that, you'll start losing, you'll drop a little bit, and then you can have some fun climbing your way back up. And by that time, you probably have some more characters that you can swing at that level that you were before and do much better. And so consider taking a GAC drop and just trying to enjoy Grand Arena for Grand Arena instead of being competitive. Uh, I know this won't work for everyone, like this one doesn't really work for me, um, because... Honestly, I am a very competitive person when it comes to Grand Arena, and it's the part of the game that I love most is being competitive in Grand Arena. So it doesn't work for me, but I know it works for other people. And there, you know, there have been days where, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I gotta find a use for Maul because I just love Maul so much. And so, you know, I might have almost given myself a loss or given myself a loss, but I found a way, way to use my team that I really enjoy and I was happy that Grand Arena, you know? So find a way to enjoy Grand Arena and consider dropping a league just for a bit. It might be less crystals, but hey, it's worth being able to continue playing this game and continue enjoying this game. The moment you're back in, you're fully back in. It, it's fine to do. Uh, the third thing I want to go over is assessing your favorite part of the game. Um, so you need to take a look at just overall what your favorite part of the game, maybe it's working together with your guild and territory wars. Um, you know, that's, that's a big thing for me. I, I love having a guild that loves territory wars. Uh, not one that's like fully focused, but one that loves ter territory wars and loves working together as a team. 
Um, and so, you know, if that's your huge passion is territory wars, then find yourself a guild that, uh, that works with territory wars, you know, focus on that, get your some, give yourself some territory war Omicrons, you know, focus on the teams that are meta for territory wars. If, you know, just PvE content is your favorite, start heavily focusing on territory battles, you know, for, focus on getting your Proving Grounds teams done, uh, and stop, you know, focusing so much on your Grand Arena. Uh, by doing that, you'll start dropping Grand Arena a bit and be somewhere where you're more comfortable and will have more fun. Uh, but even as you do that, you're still going to be building teams that will be viable for those other game modes. <clears throat> so just find your favorite part of the game and just focus on it. Just drop all your side farms for a while. Drop all your little things. Like, I got a lot going on here. You can see right here on my page. Like, I have, you know, I got Mandalorians that I'm doing. I have Inquisitors for my guild. Uh, I have Radis because I want to do Profundity soon. I got Zori because I love Zori in general. Uh, like, I've got a lot going on here. So, like, if I were to do this, I'd be like, oh, Grand Arena is my main focus. That's really what I'm trying to focus on. I need to take a break. I'd let my guild know and be like, hey, I'm not going to be able to get Inquisitors done right now. If that's a problem, I'm fine switching guilds. Uh, but I need to focus on my Grand Arena for a bit. I, I just want to be able to like this game again. And so I'm going to full focus on Zori uh, and Hermit Yoda and finish some of my teams that I really need to finish. Like I've got an entire tab of teams I need to finish for Grand Arena. And like just full on on Grand Arena. And that's fine. Like your guild will understand. Uh, a lot of times guilds will have other guilds they can pass you to if you need something more chill while you do something like this. It's completely fine. And that's that's kind of what number four is about. Is finding a more relaxed guild. Finding a guild that's focused on the same things as you. Because if you have a guild that's highly focused on territory wars and you couldn't care less. Or if you have a guild that's highly focused on getting Wat Tambor and you couldn't care less, you, there's going to be a schism between you two. And finding a guild that has the same priorities as you is huge. Um, and it gives you a whole bunch of like-minded people to talk to as well. Uh, which comes to the fifth one. The fifth one, I think, is the most important when it comes to really anything in life. Um, and it's something that we're losing out on in society in general, I feel like. And that's finding a few friends to discuss your passions with. Um, if you find a few people to talk to about this game, it's amazing. Um, like, even if it's just a couple random strangers on Discord that you've never met before and you start talking to them, um, you know, huge, huge benefits to being able to stay focused on the game and enjoying the game. Uh, I've had times, uh, I, uh, you guys might have seen it, and I, I had a couple live streams back where I had one of the guys that was my opponent who I had just messaged out of the blue and was like, hey, what did you think of my defense? Uh, I did this and this. Uh, did you, 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 I saw you struggled against this. Can you tell me what you used there? And I started talking to him, and we just talked back and forth for a couple months, and then he actually found my channel uh, a couple live streams ago and was like, hey, it's me. Uh, you know, we used to talk all the time. And, like, you know, I have a guy who I used to message in my guild all the time. And he and I just had a private chat that we go back and forth and discuss the game. Uh, I also have a couple real-life friends that I've gotten into the game. And I'm able to discuss the game with them. And so that has been single-handedly one of the biggest things that has stopped my burnout overall. Is just having a couple people that I can be passionate about the game. One of my favorite things is my, uh, my group of guilds that I'm in has a thing where they do a Grand Arena championship where it's just you know all of us kind of playing our grand arenas getting help and we're divided randomly into teams uh each month of grand arena and then we uh basically work together as a team to try and get ourselves wins and then whoever whichever team has the most wins overall gets like a little you know oh hey you guys won uh, here's your guys's, you know, um, award and that kind of thing and just kind of arbitrary stuff and bragging rights, but it's been so helpful to have not just friends to talk to about the, my grand arena that's going on, but then also get me hyped being like, dude, I got three wins for us. Heck yeah. And everyone's like, dang, I, you know, I got only two wins, but, uh, we're still doing hot We're we're getting close to first place out of the group. And so just having stuff like that. Honestly, collaboration, because this game can feel very lonely, 
um, and very just solo by yourself, having someone to share it with can be so incredibly huge. Whether that's an in real life friend or you just go to my Discord and end up talking to people and having some fun with them. Um, you know, or starting up a Grand Arena Championship among the friends that you currently have. Get you more hyped for the game and be like pushing hard because you're like when you have that pressure of other people like i have performed more uh more spectacularly in the last you know couple months since i've started playing my grand arenas with you guys uh as well as the last year that i've been in the grand arena uh tournament that i've been in uh, than I have before that because it really pushes me to be competitive and enjoy the game and be like okay I gotta really think about this uh, and so that for me I mean that competitive nature that was re really big for me maybe for you it's just hey dude I want to talk about the fact that I just got all the Han Solos and that's amazing and your buddy's gonna be like heck yeah dude that's hilarious like whatever it is have someone to talk to um, That that's really one of the major things that I think is super important to prevent burnout but hopefully those five things help you you know your passion projects and especially picking passion projects that really make you smile as well as being characters that you love um you know dropping a, in your grand arena it's fine do it it'll help you out it's preventing burnout it's fine to lose a couple crystals to you know prevent burnout uh or you know assessing your favorite part of the game and focusing on it Finding a guild that's more relaxed and focusing on your passions with the guild. Uh, and then finding a few friends uh, to discuss the game with. The, with those five things, I think you'll never get burned out from this game, honestly. Because it's, you know, regardless of what uh, CG does with this game, uh, honestly, the community is amazing in this game. And it's Star Wars. And, like, they're fairly good about keeping things balanced nowadays to the point where no matter what change comes to the game, I can kind of roll with the punches because it's, it's still enjoyable. Like, even with Datacrons, I'm still enjoying the game. Um, and so, you know, I don't know. I, I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are for preventing burnout. If there's anything that you guys would add to this list of five things, um, please throw it in the comments section. I'm sure it'll help someone out there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, if you like this kind of content, please do subscribe. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you that uh, that is part of our damn community. And I will see you guys in the next video.